Hi guys, thought I'd bring you this video on this little thing that you see here, which is a Flirk USB dongle. It's a small infrared receiver, which you can plug into any home theater PC or Android device, whichever you run your XBMC setup on, and it enables you with the use of a program which I'll show you in a little minute to program any standard infrared remote that wouldn't normally be compatible with XBMC on some devices, not all, because some do recognise your TV remote and all the Raspberry Pi does standardly and it enables you to use that as your media centre remote it's very small, very neat. It costs £20 from Amazon. That's how much I paid. I know you may be able to pick it up cheaper elsewhere, but at the time I couldn't find it anywhere cheaper. There's the logo. And as you see, I'll just show you. You can just go ahead. and plug this straight into there and that's it I'll now skip the video to showing you how exactly you get it programmed and then I'll return and show you how well it works this is the software that you download when you get your Flirk you can pick it up straight from their website which is here as you can see, they have an application for Windows, OS X and even Linux. So you just go ahead and download your version of that. And this is what you get. Now this here is the basic controls if you just want to set up your remote basically. And if you go in here, you can see you have options. You can have a full keyboard. You can have an XPMC keyboard, Windows Media, they even do a Fire TV setup now, which is great, I like that. And you can just have standard computer media keys as well. Now, I've had mine set up on the XPMC setup, I'm using a Logitech Harmony. So, I'll just show you how easy it is to program your buttons. So you hit a key in which you want to progress to program sorry. So there's your up key and I'm just pressing the up key on there. But as you can see I've already got it programmed. So if I was wanted to erase that button, I'd just select the up button after selecting erase on the key that you want to delete and as you can see it's erased the button so let's now go ahead and try and reprogram that button and as you can see it's recorded successfully I'll do the right arrow key that's already programmed so again press the erase button and I'm just going to press the right arrow key on my button on my controller and I'll go ahead now and reprogram that recorded successfully. Now you can do this for all your keys here. I have mine set up already. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if you can just let me go for a full keyboard setup. And say for for instance on my Prometheus to get to the shutdown menu you can just press S on a keyboard. Now, this Logitech Harmony remote doesn't have an S key on it, so I could program that S key, and I'm gonna program it with the red button on my remote. So now, 
on my Logitech Harmony with the Flerk plugged into my Prometheus, when I press that red button, it's acting as if I've pressed the S key on a keyboard, which will then quickly give me my shutdown options. I can rather shut down or reboot, etc. So that's the basic um, setup of the, the Flerk dongle. It's really easy. Um, you can use it with any infrared remote. For instance, your, your TV remote. You might have a spare TV remote that you like, that has a good layout that you'd like to use for XBMC. You can use that to get your, program, your keys programmed. Or there's plenty for sale on Amazon. There's some really good remotes that you could use that wouldn't normally be compatible with XBMC if you don't have an IR receiver. So, like, the, the choice is there with it. I'll now skip back to my Prometheus and I'll just show you how the remote works. And I'll give you a little view of how the Logitech Harmony works as well, if anyone's interested in that. Right, guys, final step of the video now. I'm just going to show you how well the Flerk actually works. You can see my Prometheus box there on the left. It's got the Flerk dongle plugged in already. Here's the remote. And as you can see, Prometheus is, is there in the middle. So I'll select that. Now, let me just move back a bit. As you can see, it's very responsive super responsive to be honest just like any air mouse that I've used um, you can see I'm navigating around left right up down Pressing the select buttons, context menus work, there's your back button working, I'll just show you a quick view of how well the media keys work. go on this quickly I do apologize for the shaking I've not got a tripod yet there's your pause button there's your play button and your stop button Just show you quickly the step forward and step back keys with media when you're playing music. Very responsive. Every button works, you don't have to program them all. Just show you really quickly. There's your media keys when skipping through media. I'm using a different remote to what some of you might use. I'm using this touch remote so. And again, pause, play, and stop. If there's anything else I've missed out, then post in the comment section below and I'll answer your questions. I think I covered it all. Um, 
and that's it thanks